Hello everybody, this is going to be my first uh, how-to video for the Fiesta ST. Um, I've done a lot of the mods without doing videos, I thought I'd add a little bit back to the community uh, and throw some stuff out there. Today we're going to be installing the Booba uh, Stage 2 catch can, which is the Booba has some really good install videos up on their website, um, but every time I do an install there's always some like quick tip or trick that I wish I would have known going into it, so I thought I'd shoot a little bit of video on uh, whatever I run in construction video. There's um, a bolt that's extremely hard to see. You really can't see it in the video at all. I'm probably not going to be able to do much better down in here. But if you look where the Symposer would mount, right here, there's this cord. If you follow this down, or this little piece of tubing down underneath, directly behind this, um, the, it falls right on top of a bolt, which is right here which you really can't get in to see, but um, that's going to be pretty difficult to get into. I hope this is the bolt they're asking about. It feels like it is because it's connected to this little piece of plastic here. Um, so the first step is going to be trying to get that out. They also don't list um, on the tools required what um, size this bolt head actually is. So that's something we'll have to figure out. This way, this is what we got. Um, it's going to be an 8 mil bolt, and you're going to need this. Um, the way I got this on, you can see the brackets on right now. That bolt that you're going to is directly under here. Um, watch out, because that line winds up getting pinched right in the back up here. Um, and. The way I had to do it is I had to use an extension, which runs into adapter, which goes down to the right size socket, but then I also had to use just like part of my adapter kit, so I went down in size to go back up again. <laughs> um, but that gave me just enough extension to kind of get past, you can see I can ratchet past um, the end of the bracket, which made all the difference. This piece, it looks like, goes on the back of this thing right here. Um, and it doesn't tell you which, sorry, screw it is either. It's on the coarser thread because, well, I'm assuming it looks different than the thing. That backing piece is actually kind of an oval. Um, the long edge goes out to this side, you can swing up or down, I just swing it all the way up to meet with this part here, that way it has something to stop up against um, when you're threading in the bolt. Um, I didn't know whether it was supposed to go down or flip to the other side, uh, this is the side that actually fits. So just a heads up to is that in the instructions here you can see it's vent window and plugs facing towards the back. Um, on mine, I came, it came with vent window and plugs facing forward. So what I'm going to do is just switch sides. All these come out. Um, I already loosened them. Um, it's a 13 mil socket to do. Um, I guess you could do these side, this side that way. Um, you're going to need pass-through tools to do this side though. As you can see, if you're not careful, you're going to kind of mess them up a little bit so make sure the wrench is seated all the way down at the base um, before moving and have a step stable plate platform um, to do this. The other thing I could have done would be to remove the hog ring and then you know turn this physical piece around. Um, I don't have hog ring pliers and if you can see I mean since it's on the same side as the ports I, they're like no way to get down in there so I figured this was the easiest option. Okay, so we have everything installed. This is kind of a wrap up. This is how everything fits together. Um, lines flow. Overall, installation wasn't too bad. The big thing is hacking up your original lines. Um, this was tricky for me. I almost think it's worth just getting a different kit other than Bumba. A lot of them mount back here, they're a little bit more. They're not taking up a bunch of space in the front of the engine bay, which is nice. But the big thing is hacking up these lines sucks. Um, you have to get these ridiculously hot in order to get the fittings in. 
and even then it's a pretty big struggle. Um, I think this would be the perfect setup if they would include plug and pl play um, snap fittings, but obviously that would add a little bit more to the bottom line. Um, so keep that in mind when you're making your catch can decision. What I do like is obviously there is a lot of capacity in this unit. So that's great. The other thing is all you have to do is loosen up this with um, an Allen key and then you can pop this thing right out. You just kind of, I mean, you'd unzip these little uh, worm clamps uh, that connect on the back side of it and you're ready to rock. That's why I got it. I figured in the winter it doesn't want to drain too well so I can just take this out at the end of the day. Uh, let it sit in the house for a while, warm up, drain the plug on the bottom, and then be good to go. Alright guys, thanks for watching.